Good morning, guys. So I'm officially in Indiana. It feels so good. For those who don't know, um, me and my husband have been stationed in California for about three and a half years now um, because he's in the military. So he's getting out. So we're officially moved back home. My son's going to be in the background of this video. So just, just ignore that. But um, so this morning for breakfast, I'm having my regular protein coffee. Just two shots of this. <laughs> he sees the cheesecake. Hey, shh. It's just two shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup with one caramel from your protein for two points. And then I'm having the Weight Watcher Pound Dropper Cheesecake, which I have a video on my channel showing exactly how I make it with the um, recipe. So I'll link that down below in the description box. And then I added one tablespoon of melted sugar-free strawberry preserves for zero points. Um, and then some fat-free ready whip on top. So I'm really excited to eat this. My son's really excited to eat this too. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my two-point breakfast because the cheesecake is zero. The ready whip is zero and the preserves are zero. So just points for the coffee. And yeah, it's already like 11 o'clock because I'm still jet lag um, with the three-hour time difference. Me and my son haven't been waking up um, until late. So this will definitely keep me full until lunch. So this is what I'm having. Hey guys, so it is lunchtime now. It is about 1.30 um, and I'm having some leftovers. So I made the chicken pot pie bubble up casserole, which I have a video here on my YouTube channel if you wanna see how I make that. Um, I made that for dinner last night, so I'm actually having the rest that was left over, which is like, it's like half a serving. So I'm counting it as two points for the casserole. Zero points for this. It's like teriyaki chicken something. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I'll write it here on the screen because I have to ask my mom, um, but it's so good. Zero points. And then I have a third cup of low-fat Daisy cottage cheese. So this is what I'm having for lunch. So good. That casserole is like pure comfort food. Like if you haven't made it, you need to. I made it for dinner last night and it's even better leftover. So um, I'm not a huge fan of leftovers, but there's a few things that I can eat leftover and this is one of them. So good. So this is what I'm having for lunch with my jug of water, which is over there um, on the table. I have to go grab it. But yeah, I drink tons of water also throughout the day. Um, usually I get about 150 ounces in, sometimes more, but I don't really like to go too much farther. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm having for lunch. This is what I'm having for dinner. I made chicken tenders. I used the extra crispy shake and bake and coated them in egg and then coated them in shake and bake. Air fried them at 400 for about 15 minutes. I flipped them um, like halfway through. And then I just have some mixed vegetables for zero points. And I have one tablespoon of Bull House Farms Classic Ranch and a couple tablespoons of reduced sugar ketchup. I always just count the ketchup as zero. I think after a few tablespoons it's one, but I'm just gonna count it as zero, but you can count it however you want. And yeah, these are pretty big. Normally I get smaller ones, but um, are you ready to eat? Normally I get smaller ones, but these ones are pretty big, so I'm only having three. So they come out to about one point each. So this is what I'm having for dinner. So just having a little snack. Um, this is just a one point cheese stick with five turkey pepperonis for zero points. So total this is one point snack. Um, I just worked out. I had my BCAAs. And then after this I'm probably gonna have some Greek yogurt for some more protein and maybe like a smart cake. I don't know, I think I'm gonna do like a parfait. But yeah, this is just my snack for right now. I'm about to watch Riverdale. And yeah, I'll show you what I have, um, whatever I decide with the yogurt. So this is what I end up having for dessert. It is a little yogurt parfait. I use one container of the strawberry cheesecake Dan and Light and Fit, which is two points. And then I just layered it with one lemon smart cake, which is one point, and some fat-free ready whip, which is zero. And yeah, so this is total three points for dessert. Super high in protein, really filling, and so 
amazing. Like I cannot wait to eat this. Um, and I have a discount code for the Smart Cakes if you're interested in buying some. They are absolutely incredible. I bought some and ordered them here to my mom's house because I'm staying with her and she is obsessed with them. Like they are so good. Like you question why they're so good. Like they're gluten free. They're one point and they're that good. Like it's crazy. So they have different flavors and such. So you can, um, I'll put the link and everything down below if you're interested in those, but <sighs> this combination is about to be the best thing I've ever eaten. So this is going to end my night. Um, I will put the points total on the screen for the day and yeah, let me know if you guys still enjoy these videos. Um, they usually do pretty good when I post them. So um, just always leave more uh, suggestions down in the comments. Hope you like this video and I'll see you in my next hey one. Hey guys, so I'm actually editing this video right now and I just wanted to add something. Um, today I only used 13 points out of my 23. And I just kind of wanted to explain that really fast because um, a lot of people are like, oh, you're not eating enough and stuff like that. But keep in mind that I am eating zero point foods. So just because the points are zero doesn't mean that that food doesn't have calories and you know what I mean? So um, I did eat like the Greek yogurt cheesecake. I ate turkey breast that was, or it was chicken breast, chicken breast that was zero. And then I had the chicken for dinner that was zero and the vegetables, like a lot of things were zero. So on days where I eat more zero point foods, I have more points left over for the day. And that's kind of, um, you know, before freestyle started, they wanted you to eat all of your points to make sure you're eating enough. But now they allow you, like I still got my blue dot today. Um, I'm in my healthy eating range because now they allow more flexibility with your points. Like you can have more points left over because there's more um, zero point food options. So I just wanted to add that in there because I do get comments sometimes saying I'm not eating enough, but I'm definitely eating enough. I'm completely full and satisfied throughout the day. So I just wanted to add that and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.